Good morning, it's Russ here from EIS Electrical. So today we are back to a property to carry on with our second fixing work. So what you see behind me here, this is a, a fully detached uh, three bedroom house. And then the one next to it is a semi detached house. Um, so we've done uh, electrics for both of them. Uh, in Back in February, we done the first fixing uh, for the new build as well as the refurb. The refurb got a loft convert, an extension and a complete refurb for the house. Whereas the new build, uh, well, it's, it's built from scratch. Um, so we've done electrics for both of them. Uh, new build got a solar as well. Uh, car charger going in these are like parts of requirements from the planning permission when they granted the planning that the the developer has to have these things now with a modern home with a facility to charge cars and also renewable energy so yeah let's just uh, go and take a look inside the property and uh, see our progress with the work Okay, so we are inside of the property now. Uh, this is the, the new build. Um, the plastering works complete. They've got the screening um, that happened last week. And uh, yeah, the guy's cracking on. Some of the painting work has already started. So it's in a bit of a mess because the, uh, the guy's working outside doing the drive by all the boxes and packaging and stuff just um, lying around everywhere at the moment. They need a good tidy. Um, with the electrics, we have got lots of spotlights, as you can see. Let me turn the camera around this way. Yeah, um, spotlights everywhere, down lights. We've got the GU10 warm white, um, 550 lumens fixed uh, down lights going up in here. So a lot of them, then we, the client has decided to go for the, we've got the BG um, Nexus uh, brush chrome the range uh, socket outlets with the grey inserts so that's what we are having everywhere we've got the um, so in, in this side of the property we have the kitchen in here in sort of this open plan area and we've done all the electrics for the kitchen there as well so with the kitchen well it's pretty box standard this is a this is going to be a rental property um, same with the one next door and um, uh, yeah so trying to keep everything sort of simple uh, yeah, so it's a standard, I think it's like a sort of U-shaped kitchen uh, with all the electric hobs, ovens and uh, the usual. The, with the power distribution side of the things, we've got the uh, electrics under stairs. Let me just take this one out. What you see behind me here is the uh, ensuite, not the ensuite, the one of the bathrooms downstairs. And if I get this out of the way. You probably get a slightly better look. Right, this is still work in progress. What we got is we have um, fuse box brand consumer unit with um, surge protection and RCBOs. We've got lots of armored cables here ready to be terminated. We've got data cabling, CAT6, we've got aerial cables and uh, you know all of the TV and AV stuff. So I will need to do all the termination work for them as well. Uh, the fuse box range, you know, is quite popular with a lot of the electricians. So, um, yeah, and then it's very nice and easy to work with lots of space inside, especially it's going underneath the stairs. Uh, you know, I've got a lot of plenty of room 
to fit the board. So we've gone for a much bigger 20 way board with um, RCBOs and surge protection. Um, so yeah, um, that's work in progress. And at some point I'll have to do all the TV and AV distribution with the separate amplifier and also a small data cabinet for the CAT6 and network cabling. Now upstairs uh, we have three bedroom and a bathroom. So this is the bathroom here as you come up. Uh, we've got four down lights, the tiler work, uh, tiling work still in progress. We've got the usual extractor fans, mirror light cable sticking out here you can see. And uh, yeah, then the bedrooms. So this one here is a smaller sort of a box room or a study. Uh, four spotlights, some sockets and TV points. This is the master master bedroom you see behind me here. Uh, lots of down lights. And this one also has an ensuite um, in, inside as well. That's the rear of the house. Now something a bit interesting here. <laughs> what you see me uh, see behind me here outside of that fence is the uh, the UK power network substation that's covering this area. And also, if you have a look, take a closer look up there, you see the overhead transmission lines, which are like about three or four meters above this house. Um, yeah, so I take it, I'm, I'm gonna get a very, very good um, loop impedance readings from this installation, because we are sort of right outside the substation. Uh, yeah. Um, so with the second fix, just to show you one of these fittings again, this, these are the other uh, BG Nexus range with the uh, gray inserts. And yeah, painter prefer us to get them up and then tape them up with the masking tape. Um, we use these ones from Screwfix. They're really good when you applying them and removing them. Um, doesn't leave any marks or anything and comes off very easily keeps the fitting nice and clean so we put them around nicely and then the painter will go around and do all their corking work and fill them up and paint it so we get a nice finish so yeah um, today I've got to do some more switching terminations for two-way lights I've got a fuse box to put in the in the um, refurb side the, the assembly attached house next door and uh, yeah, just try and get everything finished. That's another one of the sockets where we got it all covered up, ready for the painter. Um, yeah, so stay tuned. Um, I will, I'll see if I could take a couple more clips once it's finished and I'll up, um, upload them together. Okay, I shall speak to you soon.